So this is courtesy of the Instagram account called techno.germany that I recently stumbled across. Um, and it's a fairly interesting one because essentially it posts loads of random clips of all the, I don't know, the people now in the techno scene or adjacent TikTok techno scene that are pushing things really popular and whatnot and doing the most on the social media side of things. And it collects it all into one place. So a lot of the conversations that you may hear or see of people having on techno Twitter probably stem from some of the clips that you may see featured on here. But from a solely punter's selfish point of view, it's pretty good because it gives you an idea of what the different scenes are like across Germany, not just in Berlin. And you sometimes get a heads up on some festivals or some clubs that you probably never heard of before and maybe it might you know you know make you interested to go and check them out because it has done for me in the past the same sort of thing but i was browsing through this seeing some clips whatever and i stumbled across this particular clip of i hate models playing somewhere in a festival in some venue somewhere and the comments were interesting to me this is the clip here i think this one here in the middle um, there was a lot of comments here about I hate models being representation being representative of toxic masculinity, which I feel like is a real, real, real stretch when you consider what the guy looks like, when you consider the music that he plays, when you consider the way he dances. Like it's interesting that people would say that, and I think a lot of it probably stems from the fact that he actually enjoys himself. He's behind the booth having a blast, really going crazy. The particular brand of techno he plays isn't for me, but if you go through and listen or read accounts of people going, you know, watching his mixes or people reviewing club nights that he's played at, a lot of people say that, uh, weirdly enough, I Hear Models was a lot of people's introduction to techno overall. The same way, like maybe, you know, those corny um, possession parties that maybe, you know, died um, at the right time. But, the, you know, there's a period of time where possession was like running it on social media in terms of like pushing that new kind of super fast, hardcore, industrial type of sound. Um, even though it's not the greatest music, what it did for, for the most part, I think for the greater economy, for the greater, I wouldn't say economy, but for the greater scene, what it does, I think, hopefully, is that it would introduce a lot of kids to the scene and get them to kind of dig a bit deeper and find out things that they're actually interested in so you kind of come in you know liking cheesy horrible stuff and then over time through digging and curiosity you maybe discover some cooler more interesting things that you might want to explore going forward so they basically serve their purpose in that they introduce you to a subculture and a scene that you probably wouldn't have been familiar with so i think i hear models are the same sort of thing and i think as just a performer as a dj as an artist and stuff it's just cool and just fun and refreshing to see somebody like him who's clearly having fun behind the booth whether he's the act out of his mind whether he's just performing for the sake of it i don't give a fuck the fact that him the fact the likes of you know patrick mason are behind the booth actually having a great time for me is always going to be way more up there rated than people just standing behind the booth acting like they don't want to be there being too cool for school you know taking themselves way too seriously and all that stuff it's just dead because for me anyway i think one of the reasons why i got involved in the scene is because i used to go to raves a lot and i still do right i would call myself a quote-unquote raver more so i'd call myself a dj or party promoter those kind of things but usually over time of getting involved in the scene what ends up happening is that you end up wanting to get more involved you end up maybe wanting to throw your own parties you end up maybe wanting to produce wanting to make music wanting to dj and it all stems from being an avid person that goes out a lot and wants to rave and get flipping naughty that's what usually happens to most people that decide to kind of dabble in the flipping dark arts of fucking raving and shit so these guys are representative of how we all were on the dance floor we were all going crazy all doing whatever and then now that they're on the flipping now that they're behind the booth on these big stages at these big events are doing the same thing so i can't really understand why that would be toxic in my opinion but i'll play a bit of the clip anyway so you can see what i mean but this is i hate models um this is the caption says endless energy at the latest waves open air um top 10 moments include i hate models trim patrick mason kaiva armin john armin john uh back to back with rico heating up the dance floor in hanover let's play a bit of it now hopefully it plays
don't get me wrong it's just you know it's what you can see and what you can hear that's not definitely not my style definitely not something that i'll be into but if you scroll down and check some of the comments even the first one here like i feel like patrick mason is trying testing us to see how far he can take pranking technocrats at this point and i'm kind of here for it <laughs> pranking what's that even mean um techno festivals and there's neither techno tracks in the six seven clips here um, another person says that Tim track take me back to Waven Sphere. Patrick Mason only annoying me now. Changed my mind again. I don't understand this because I think the next clip shows him actually. Uh, let's just go. actually let's show. I'll show you the next clip. I think there's a next clip here that actually shows Patrick Mason. <laughs> So yeah, I'm surprised that could be an, that could be deemed as as annoying. To be completely fair, like I don't I don't really know what what the what the kind of explanation for this stuff is. I just think maybe overall, it's just a case of most people in the scene don't like this type of expression, and I think it's fairly evident now because at first I was thinking maybe this is like this is a little bit like um. A, a weird kind of like you know subtle dog whistling racism thing but actually this is the best example of the fact that it isn't because clearly um these fans on this particular page any in particular are not a fans of the way you know i hate models dances behind the booth and the way that patrick mason carries himself when he's dancing in front of the booth and on top of the booth they just don't like it at all so it goes to show that maybe um the appetite for that level of performance that level of artistry behind the booth isn't encouraged or welcomed by a certain demographic of people that listen to this type of music which again i feel like is really unfortunate because i feel like we all start off being i hate models we all start off being patrick mason on the dance floor that's how we get interested in it so i would imagine you would like to see yourself reflected behind the booth by having people that look like they're enjoying themselves more so than just people that are standing there stiff like flipping robots not looking like they're having a good time maybe that's just me i'm not really sure but i would prefer to see that but clearly the guys there aren't feeling that they're not liking it and the comments around the other pages or the other people who are performing and look a little bit more stiff if you just quickly scroll by they clearly Clearly, are enjoying those a bit more. There's another clip here, obviously, of I Hate Models. Let's play this one also and see what this sounds like. I'm curious to see what they thought about this also. I said, don't get me wrong, it's not for me, but clearly, as you can see, the people in the crowd, they're absolutely loving it. They're going fucking crazy. They can't have enough of it. So sometimes you wonder, like, does all this commentary online matter? It clearly does to some extent because this page is really popular. They've got like, you know, I don't know, what is it, over 100,000? No, yeah, nearly a million. Got over half a million flipping followers, 675 followers on Instagram. That's not, you know what I mean? That's not by hook or chance. Clearly, they've got a good, you know, fan base. There are people that like what they do and it resonates with them um, and whatnot. But everything else, they're not really too big fans of. Let's see, there's another clip here of Patrick Mason also I want to play here. Um, I don't know, maybe because I've I've kind of, you know, had some brief interaction with the guy on DMs here and there, but I'm a fan of the Patrick Mason guy. It's refreshing to have somebody like this in techno. Really, I feel like he's a bit of a throwback in the sense that maybe in the late, 90s early 2000s he would have been even bigger than what he is now as an artist and everything overall because he's kind of got that charisma and showmanship behind the booth but i'm just surprised nowadays considering how main character everybody is how dramatic everybody is how self-absorbed everybody is i'm surprised more people don't connect with him they don't see themselves more in him than they would instead they just find it obnoxious and annoying which is strange because he can still mix really well personally i still think so technically he's still a good mixer you may not like his track selections but i think there's no way he you rarely hear him clanging you know as much as some of these other guys are out there some of the stuff you might play might not be to your taste might be a bit cheesy might be a bit reductive but it's still fairly decent and he's clearly a very good performer in the stage so let's see this other clip also and see what they say here or i'll just see what it looks like Do you keep your
Anyway, he's, he's smashing it, man. I think they're smashing it. I don't get why people are getting upset, really. Take a chill pill, relax, let people enjoy themselves. Um, and if anything, you know, there's there's the opposite of this out there that exists that just has their head down, looking completely moody, not really having a good time. They do exist out there. So if you want to see those type of people play, then you know where you can go to see that type of thing. And then I guess the last one that shows a clip of him is this particular one of flipping them. I hate models. This one, how he's dancing. So you can see some of the reason why some people don't like the way he skanks. Let's see this one, actually. This is this is, this is probably one of the ones that was making people really upset on the timeline. This is courtesy of another account called Sound of Techno, all one word on Instagram. It says, I hate models doing the famous two-step at the Isle of Summer Festival. Somebody here straight away, 371 likes. This guy absolutely sucks. <laughs> Why are people hating him? Why is he wearing a mask, though? Um, guys dancing harder than anyone in the crowd. No drug in the crowd can let me enjoy this. Give, give bro some food first. Or oh, look at this guy verified hating you know that's not good you shouldn't be verified and hating why is he wearing a mask why is the mask outside take don't check drugs like they, they legitimately hate this dude which is interesting because i feel like he's fairly inoffensive looks like he's having a whale of a time and for the most part his productions are fairly decent not my vibe but i get how people will like it anyway let's play the clip enough talking from me and let's see what it's saying oh, I <laughs> that's good I don't, I, I don't mind it personally but i think it's fucking vibes that skank is fucking incredible the legs that's fucking good that's the thing though if you've actually been to a festival you'd know how much this actually adds to your experience that's something people don't really realize when you're actually out there in the baking sun you're tripping balls you're coming down you're feeling a little bit lethargic sometimes having somebody just next to you going for it can lift your mood sometimes seeing the dj behind the booth going crazy can lift your mood like it all kind of adds to it so this whole performance is actually part of it Do you know what i mean especially if you're booking somebody like this you're getting way more of your money's worth booking him than booking somebody else i would mention who's just standing there looking fucking comatose at least he's having a good time. It's going to rub off on the crowd. It's going to be good vibes. You're going to get lots of good content out of it. Like this festival, right, called Isle of Sound Summer. They've got all these clips people are going to be sharing online about it. It all kind of works out to its end, to be honest. I think, I don't know. Some of it might be jealousy. Some of it might just be pure hatred because people like to see people just standing there straight and that might be the way to go about things. But I think nowadays, considering how the scene is changing, the importance of social media, different influences, showmanship, the comp how competitive it is to be a DJ out there, maybe part of this is you know part of the game it's same way how you got ufc fighters turning into wwe you know wrestlers and stuff how they promo and and how they kind of call out certain fighters maybe part of the update and the evolution of the game is that you kind of have to be a bit performative behind the booth more so than you would do normally because you know that could help you go viral and maybe increase your profile online and stuff it kind of is what it is really in that respect and then to end we got the clip here of that guy who's one of the one half of that podcast i listened to called that's techno team recommend you check it out on youtube um who's now become famous just for raving which is pretty cool i think in some respects um to just be well known for being somebody that has a good time outside who's a good vibe to the point where now he's door picking and selecting at certain clubs in berlin which is pretty cool and i think he's he's from the uk as well which is amazing so he, he moved out there and now he's become a bit of a big dog out there from just you know dressing up looking cool and dancing really you know really intensely in the kind of techno viking way with this beret and what looks like a sports bra some short shorts and shit and having a whirl of a time his life his um his name on instagram is life underscore by kazen underscore no yeah, life underscore by underscore kazen yeah on instagram you can find him on there but this is an interesting one as well i think this is taken from melt festival as well let's see him dancing and skanking <laughs> <laughs> I 
like I said, I don't mind it, man. I'm I'm all for change. I'm all for evolution. I just think the scene is going where it's going. If you're out there still moody, still upset that it's not the way it used to be, and there isn't a hundred thousand RA editors or journalistic kids or people that are really analyzing the music in a really analytical way on the dance as it was once before, that's your shame. It, it kind of is what it is. Maybe it's a responsibility of the clubs themselves to cultivate the rooms and make sure you don't have too many annoying people in the spaces. But it's kind of going the way it's going, um, and you have to just adapt or die basically um you can still carve out little spaces for yourself that are a little bit protected from the horrors of everyday people out there but for the most part it's going the way it's going um either you evolve with it or you die either you evolve with it or you 